Kyoto here. Thought I'd make this video on my kayak console build. It's been an ongoing project and one that I've enjoyed doing. It hasn't really taken me that long, but when you got your butt planted in the kayak, you have to have everything within arm's reach, otherwise you can't get it because um, it's either too far at the front of the boat or too way behind at the back of the boat. So I've made a console. So everything that I use was, is within easy reach. The things that I want to keep the safest, like my camera gear, I've made a little pocket inside the console so I can store them in there. It's not exactly watertight, but it's water resistant and I can lock it. Okay, this is how I went about the process. I started off with cardboard cutouts and then followed by tracing those on the pieces of plywood and cutting out the plywood. This is my first attempt at making a kayak console. I hadn't actually seen anything like this before so I didn't have anything to go by. I just made it up as I went along. But, um, and I wasn't exactly being too specific in the details. I just wanted to get it done and um, make it useful. Here I'm cutting out the floor of the console. I started joining all the pieces of plywood together just using hot glue. That worked really well because I could just hold the part in place until it's set in the right position and it only took a few seconds. Starting to take some kind of a shape now. <laughs> Now that I've got it made roughly to the shape I want, I'm going to start covering it in marine carpet just using contact glue. The marine carpet will help hold the whole thing together as well. Here I am trying out some new clear contact cement. Never used this before. It was kind of strange using the clear contact cement, but it worked okay. Thank you. 
nag my friend outside, she's singing to me. She's got two kids that can scream for dinner all the time. I have to stop now and go and feed her. It won't be, it won't be long. You can see here how the marine carpet with the contact glue is also going to help hold the whole thing together. Like I said before, I have glued the whole box together with hot glue. Here I am adding two PVC pipe slots. I can use these for um, different types of accessories. I'm going to use one of them for a um, camera mount that I can swivel around. There we go. It's starting to take shape now. It looks a whole lot better coated in the carpet. I've added a sliding drawer to the front of it. I can put all my um, things that I want close by in there to access. On the face of the drawer I've made a attachment so I can slip my tablet in there. I can use that either for my um, GPS maps or I can also use it to control my camera. Here you can see I've made a, um, a shelf that I can rest my paddle in. Before I was just resting it across my legs, across the bottom of the kayak. And as soon as you lean, the, um, the paddles would hit the water and then it would go flying. Now it's up high, it doesn't touch the water. I've also put a hook on the side so I can slip the paddle up the side if I need to. This is how I attach the front of the console to the kayak just with some elastic loops. The foot of the kayak I actually screw onto the deck on some screws that were already in the kayak's shell. Here I can lock the um, the pocket, if I want to put any valuables in there, if I want to duck into my shop or something, I can just stick them in there for the, for the time being. Here's the camera swivel that I've made. If I'm sitting in my chair, I can access the camera and I can swing it right out to the front or bring it right in close to me without actually getting out of my seat. When I mount the camera, I've actually made a little so I can attach the camera's lanyard onto it so just in case it doesn't fall off. Here's my tablet, it just slips onto the face of the drawer so I can access it. I also have a phone attachment, so I don't take the tablet, I can still control the camera with my phone. Uh, this is a selfie pole that I've been using on the last few of my um, trips that I've gone out. It's been working okay. Also a spot for my sunglasses. I lost them last time I was out.
Here's a 12 volt power outlet. I can use this power outlet for charging my phone or my tablet or anything that you need to plug into a um, cigarette lighter socket. I can also plug my solar panel into there and it can charge the battery that I run everything off. The solar panel I'm using is just a tiny little one that's a trickle charger for keeping a car battery topped up. I've just got it um, attached to the top of my esky lid. It's removable. If I need 240 volts of power, I can plug my inverter into a 50 amp Anderson plug. Then I can run anything. keep all my first aid gear in the kayak in a clear plastic container so it keeps it waterproof and I can see everything that's in there. I also modified the um, kayak hole hatch storage hole with an old bucket made, just made it deeper so I got more storage pocket. Okay, here's how I power everything. Originally this was just used for the trolling motor, but I haven't actually flattened this battery yet, so I thought I can use it for other things as well. I've just made a, um, a special console on the back of the kayak to house the battery. It's uh, got a lid and makes it splash proof. I've also got a little pocket at the back where I can store some other things. This back of the kayak does get damping, so I don't put anything in there that needs to stay dry. I've got a container that's just full of tools and pliers and spare parts for the trolling motor, etc. Okay. Here's how I connect the power to my console. I've got another 50 amp Anderson plug. I just run a lead from the rear battery and plug it into the console. Here's my kayak mount. I originally had this as a solid mount but I've made it swing and swivel because it used to get in the way so now I can swing the motor up if I need to. Sometimes if I want to paddle really hard the paddle would hit the kayak motor so I can swing it up out of the way if I need to. Water snake just screws onto that and um, it's good to go. I ran a new heavier wire from the water snake to the battery and put a nice heavy duty plug on it just so it's carry enough amps. This is where I discovered that the water snake was actually full of salt water and it needed to be serviced. If you haven't seen it yet I've made a video on servicing the trolling motor. Check it out. Another two-in-one product is my rear flagpole. It's also an umbrella. Thought it killed two birds with one stone. <laughs> it's a good idea to have a flagpole on a kayak if you go in amongst all boats and everything, so they can see you. It's all right when you go on up a creek or something, but out in the out in the ocean, um, you want to be seen.
And one final thing that I made is a, um, a much, much, much lighter trolley. And it also folds up. The other one that I've got kind of heavy. It works really well and it's been useful, but when I go out on the kayak and I need to take the trolley with me, this would be a much better option. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed uh, making that kayak console. It was good fun. Catch you later.